Prior to bandaging, the patient should have a full holistic assessment. Please refer to your local guidelines. Please note that the leg has been made larger for demonstration purposes. Baseline measurements of the ankle, calf and thigh can be taken at assessment to assist in measuring treatment efficacy and to ensure volume reduction. If necessary, bandage the toes using Mullerlast 4cm retention bandage to manage any oedema in the toes. Apply a layer of Actifast two-way stretch tubular bandage extending from the toes to the groin and ensuring that the correct size is used for the limb. Ensure that the foot is positioned toes to nose to maximise ankle movement. Assess the limb, then reshape. Separate skin folds and protect the limb with Flexiban or Salona padding. Ensure that the padded limb has a graduated conical shape. Pillows can be made using Actifast and Flexiban or Salona and these can be used to separate any skin folds and to help shape the limb. If necessary, they can be secured using additional padding. Protect the popliteal fossa using pillows and padding, as the tendons can be vulnerable to any pressure. Apply a layer of Flexiban or Salona padding along the full length of the limb using a 50% overlap with no tension. The padding layer helps to shape and also to protect the limb and also to help distribute the pressure of the bandage evenly. The amount of padding used will be reduced as the limb volume reduces and the shape of the limb improves. The padding layer should not be applied with tension. This overhead shot helps show where additional padding may be required to ensure a graduated shape is achieved. The arms can be used to assist in highlighting where there are any gaps. Continue padding using pleating if necessary to fill any areas that need additional shaping. Ensure a conical shape is achieved for graduated compression. Ensuring that the foot is positioned toes to nose to maximise ankle movement Apply two turns of Actico 8cm, starting at the base of the toes with tension. An additional turn may be applied across the middle of a long foot. Enclose the heel with a figure of 8 whilst maintaining the tension. Then continue with a simple spiral. Start the lock and roll method at the ankle and finish just above the ankle. Cut off any excess bandage. Change to Actico 10cm bandage. Overlapping by approximately 6cm, continue with the lock and roll method with a 50% overlap at full stretch, up the leg. Finish above the knee, ensuring the knee has slight flexion and change to Actico 12cm bandage above the knee, overlapping the bandage by approximately 6cm. The bandage should be applied as high up the limb as possible and above any swelling. Finish the bandage 1cm below the padding layer. Cut and apply light pressure to bond. Please note if patients require support and palliation, then one layer may be adequate. Apply a second layer of Actico in the opposite direction, following the same stages as before, and using the lock and roll method with the bandage, locked at full stretch and rolled at full stretch. Switch again to 10cm Actico just above the ankle, using the lock and roll method, and ensure that the knee is flexed and change to a 12cm Actico bandage above the knee. It may be easier to bandage the thigh with the patient standing up. To ensure flexion in the knee, the patient can be asked to balance their heel on a bandage roll. The application of a second layer in the opposite direction creates a semi-rigid cuff around the limb to ensure adequate compression for maximum oedema reduction. Finish bandaging the leg with Actico 12cm. Cut and apply light pressure to bond.
Actico is part of Activa's compression range of products for use on patients with venous disease without or with oedema and lymphedema. Further advice and information can be found on our website.